Hi, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve this quintic equation, degree 4 equation by two methods. So, let us start by method 1. So, method 1 is basically the algebraic method. So, divide both sides by x square. Divide by x square. Once we divide, equation will be x square plus x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x square equal to 0. Now collect first and last term all together at one bracket. So x square plus 1 over x square. Second last term, this term and this term in one bracket. So x plus 1 over x plus 1 equal to 0. Let me consider x plus 1 over x equal to t. Take a square of this equation. So x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to t square. That means x square plus 1 over x square is t square minus 2. So here I will put t square minus 2. And this is what t. So equation will be t square minus 2 plus t plus 1 equal to 0. That means t square plus t minus 1 equal to 0. One quadratic equation is there. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. So as per quadratic formula, a is 1, b is 1, c is negative 1. Let's solve t square plus t minus 1 equal to 0. t will be equal to minus b. So minus 1 plus minus square root b square. That means 1 is square minus 4 1 c is negative 1 over 2a. a is 1 so 2. So if we simplify then it will come out root 5 over 2. Remember t is our consideration. t is x plus 1 over x. Now t will be 1 minus root 5 over 2 and 1 plus root 5 over 2. So if I will consider root 5 value that that is 2.2360 something, I am taking two places after decimal. So I am taking 2.23. So that value will be 1 minus 2.23 over 2 and here 1 plus 2.23 over 2. If you will simplify this, value will come out 0 0.6 and minus this value will be negative. So this is your negative value, minus 1.6 and this value is 0 0.6. Now what I am going to do, I am going to put this value of t in the equation. Equation was, let me write that equation, equation was x plus 1 over x equal to t. This is our equation. Now, one time I will put t equal to 0 0.6. So, x plus 1 over x is equal to 0 0.6. And second time I will put x plus 1 over 6, 1 over x is equal to minus 1.6. So, let's solve. Here I will be getting x square plus 1 equal to 0 0.6x and this quadratic will give us x square plus 1 equal to minus 1.6x. Take all the term to left side, x square minus 0 0.6x plus 1 equal to 0. Second equation would be x square plus 1.6x plus 1 equal to 0. So there are two quadratic equations in variable x.
So from here we will get four solutions because it is quantic equation. See degree is four. So you, you will be getting four solutions. Two from here and two from here. Let's solve. So let me take the first one x square minus 0.6x plus 1 equal to 0. So x will be equal to minus b 0.6 plus minus square root 6. So 0.36 minus 4 over 2. So that from that equation your values will come out 0 0.309 plus minus iota because this square root is negative you can see you are subtracting bigger number from smaller so that will come out negative so iota complex roots we will get 0 0.95 means two roots are 0 0.309 plus iota 0 0.95 and 0 0.309 minus iota 0 0.95 so two roots are here and if we consider the second equation x square minus that value is 1.6 x plus 1 equal to 0 now simplify this also i will be getting minus b so minus 1.6 plus minus 1.6 whole square that means that value will be 2.56 let me write 1.6 whole square minus 4 divided by 2 so after simplification that value will come out negative 0 0.809 plus minus iota 0 0.58 7 7 or 5 8 you can write i am taking two decimal digit so that value is so there are four total solutions two is here and two solutions are by the second one so these are actually our solution now let us consider method two that method is basically from complex number analysis so see that method also method two let us multiply this equation by x minus one both sides by x minus 1. So x power 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 times x minus 1. So that doesn't make any change. So that side will be 0. Once I will open this means I am multiplying then I will be getting x power 5 minus 1 equal to 0. The intermediate all the terms will get cancelled out. One will be positive, another will be negative, so cancel out. Ultimate equation is x power 5 minus 1 equal to 0 or x power 5 is equal to 1. Now x is equal to 1 power 1 over 5. Take 1 fifth power to the both sides, so it will come out x power 5 whole power 1 over 5, so that 5 will cancel out, so x, x will be equal to unity power one fifth. Let's solve this equation. So I will write x is equal to unity means cos 2n pi plus i sin 2n pi whole power 1 over 5. Now using de Movis theorem that value will come out cos 2n pi over 5 plus i times 2n pi over 5. Now n is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So because of this is quintic equation, degree 4 equation, your 4 solutions are there. So how I will get 4 solution? So I will apply. See if I am putting n equal to 0, so that value will be 1. So that is very first solution you can write for x equal to 0. If I am putting n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, then respective I will get the value of x. So let me start. x will be equal to x equal to 1. Now put the n equal to 1, then that value will come out.
cos 2 pi over 5 plus iota sin 2 pi over 5 x equal to this is for n equal to 0 n equal to 1 n equal to 2 if I am putting n equal to 2 then that expression will come out 4 pi over 5 plus iota sin 4 pi over 5 n equal to 3 that value will come out cos 6 pi over 5 plus iota 6 pi over 5 and last value is n equal to 4 x is equal to cos 8 pi over 5 plus iota sin 8 pi over 5 now see x equal to 0 n equal to 0 x equal to 1 is the very first solution which is from x minus 1 which we multiplied at the beginning we multiplied x minus 1 with this whole equation so that x minus 1 equal to 0 so first solution is x equal to 1 if you remember we multiplied x minus 1 times this bracket equal to x minus 1 times 0 so first solution is x equal to 1 so that is not our question so we, we we won't focus on this solution because that is our consideration our original equation was quintic this is x power 4 x cube so the remaining four solution means n equal to 0 up to n equal to 4 if i am putting n values then I will be getting our solution. So, solution number 1 for n equal to 1. So, that value will come out from this and that value will be 0 0.309 plus iota times 0 0.95. You can check, you can use calculator, that value will come out and this is your first solution, first route you can check from the previous method also. Second value is minus 0 0.809 plus iota times 0 0.587. Third value is minus 0 0.809 minus iota times 0 0.587. And fourth value is its conjugate, the first one, so 0 0.309 minus iota 0 0.95 you can cross examine all the four roots from this method and the earlier method first method is using algebra identities and manipulations all those stuff and this method belongs to complex number or complex analysis i hope you like this video please do subscribe my channel if you like this video thank you so very much